some of the guys didn't even uh, read my email because like when I came there, I was like, I am Roger here for a week. They were like, oh, okay. oh yeah, maybe uh, there was this guy. Nobody had like, yeah, but there, w- there were some p- uh, places where like people were, oh, Roger, right? Nice. <laughs> then nice, I laughed. Nice, 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 nice. I was like, yes, big deal, big deal. <laughs> where is the backstage to the open mic? Yeah, where's my rider? I need my Dude, waters. at one open mic, I did an encore. <laughs> really? Yes. How? How? That's so you up. said I'm done. You said thank you, I'm Roger. I'm done. Yes. And then what? How did you get to the encore? Well, it wasn't uh, exactly like that. But like, um, I I crashed at uh, this one um, gong show. Mm-hmm. So they have these uh, um, concept shows where like the crowd, like if three members of the crowd like say like you're bad, you have to get off. Mm-hmm. But you have like five minutes. So I crashed that show, and then like I got some contacts. Uh, and I got invited to this uh, other show where you could do like 10 minute spots and it was like um, like a club show. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or club open mic. Was it ticketed it, or? No, no, no. It was like an open mic, but it was like you could do like longer sets. Like mm. people were doing tens and stuff like that. Uh, and um, yeah, I got invited to there. And then this guy comes up to me and asks me like the host man, like how many uh, gigs you've done? And I was like, uh, like over eight, eight hundred. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna maybe give you light at seven or maybe at ten. <laughs> so now I understood. Uh, okay, like if I w- was just like, oh, I'm thirty sets in. You're gonna do five minutes. Mm-hmm. But he was like, oh, if this guy goes good, I can like he can do longer. So I went and did my set. But during like the last bit, I had, like I got the light. And uh, I was like, okay, the lights, so I have one minute left. So I was trying to wrap, wrap it up. Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden, the, like the sound went down. Like mm-hmm. I, I could hear like cracks, like cracking, mm-hmm. and the sound went down. And I was like, holy shit, I just went over. So I'm the, I'm the fucking uh, dickhead here. <laughs> so I just said, I, I put the mic back in the stand. I said, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> And they walked off like sorry, 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 <laughs> and people and the crowd was like, "What's going on?" Mm. Uh, and I, uh, I said, "Oh, I went, uh, I went over my time. Sorry, sorry." Mm. sorry. Uh, but the guys from the booth said, "No, no, no. We had some problem with the cable. You can go on. You can go on." So now I'm thinking, okay, I gotta walk back to the stage, <laughs> and it's gonna be super weird. So I grabbed the mic, raised my hand, and I said, "Encore!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and I like kept on pushing it, like, "Oh, this is the first encore at an open mic you've ever seen in your life." <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, super fun, and I did like extra four minutes or so. Nice. You gotta work that. Like uh, there are those, uh, you know, the, there's mics when when I host them and I'm like, you'll do your fucking time or I'm gonna bum rush the stage, right? Yeah. The reason that I'm, I when I, like if you, if you're a host, if you need to get the comedian off, you need to establish that beforehand. Like this is what's gonna happen. Because even if the guy's a bit shit, there's, there's an awkwardness to pulling someone off stage. Yeah even if they're bombing, even if it's a bit much, like, especially I'm hosting these conferences all the time and some guy fucking blah, blah, blah. Like you can stand at the side of the stage and he doesn't notice you and he keeps talking. And like, if someone's in the middle, of, even if we all register that this guy's going too long, there's still some weird social awkwardness about like getting on stage and cutting. Yeah, because then off. everybody's gonna be like, ah, oh, that guy pulled that guy off. Right, even though yeah. it was a bomb. So that's why when I'm hosting and I'm like, and I make it really clear, this is the scene, this is the vibe, all right? I am gonna, like I tell people about it. This is what's expected. Expect this, expect that I'm gonna bum rush the stage. Expect that I'm gonna do some crazy shit and play with the lights or something, right? Like this is, you've got to set that straight up already. Yeah. Otherwise as a host, I seem like the cunt. Who yeah, just, but you know, through some those mics were good. Like they're like everybody had light. Okay, like so the light. So they light, show yeah. you the flashing light. And that means you have one minute left. Wrap your shit up. Okay, so wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. But that mic was yeah. It was weird. Like they were giving yeah like more time. So I was like, oh fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna. That's take hard. It. Like do seven, but maybe if we don't pull you off, do ten. I know it's a comedy thing. It's not something yeah. we would do, but it's like because you've got to then adjust. You got to yeah, do seven was, and have another bit, I guess. Yeah, but I was like, okay, I'm go- so I, what I did was I, I just like did my set uh, to be like 10 minutes. Mm. I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna, if they pull off me at seven, I'm gonna 
be off at seven. Uh, but yeah, it was it was all good and it was a lot of fun. Nice. 